Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So I use Linux as a desktop operating system every single day. And since I do work on the internet, there are certain programs that I need to use. And so today I'm going to be talking about my top five Linux tools that I use for work. And these are programs that I simply cannot do without. So let's go ahead and start with number five with a program that I think a lot of people are familiar with, but at the same time, it's highly underrated as well. And that is the text editor. This text editor has been around since I've been using computers and it's probably the most versatile tool out there. You can do everything on here. Take notes, do programming, store passwords, whatever it is, this tool could probably do it. And it's unfortunate that people don't think of it as a must have tool like I do. So let's go ahead and get to number four. And it is Oracle's VirtualBox. This is absolutely an amazing tool. It allows me to run a lot of different operating systems and I myself use it to actually run Windows. That's the main reason why I use it. And so you might be wondering, well, I'm a Linux user. Why would I use Windows? Well, the thing is not everything will run on Linux and the majority of worlds still use Windows. And so it's essential for me to have this for my work because the majority of people that I work for, they actually have Windows as their main operating system or Apple's Mac OS. And the thing is, I also use it for a lot of my tutorials as well. When I'm doing a comparison or a feature between Linux and Windows that I cannot do if I did not have Windows available to me. And of course, there are other things that I do with VirtualBox. Specifically, I run other distros, you know, other Linux distros. And so this is an essential tool for anybody who is interested in using other operating systems or having other operating systems available when you need it. So going to number three is a program that I'm actually using right now, and it is Simple Screen Recorder. This is an absolutely amazing tool. It allows you to do screen recording very simply, and it works amazingly well. And there is a, another tool that does something similar, although more advanced, that ties with this for the number three spot. And that tool is OBS. It's absolutely a must have tool. If you are a content creator, you're a gamer, and it's extremely powerful. So heading on to number two is Caden Live. This is absolutely an essential tool for anybody who is a video content creator. And in my opinion, it is one of the best programs out there, whether it's open source or not. I absolutely love Caden Live. And it is one that I think if you learn how to use, you could actually do some really amazing videos using this tool. So this is an essential tool for me that I use practically every single day. So what is my number one Linux tool for work? Well, it's one that is boring, but it's absolutely an essential tool for a lot of people. And this is LibreOffice Cal. And of course, in the Microsoft Office world, it would be Excel. There's very little places that a spreadsheet program is not required. But when your work involves a lot of data analysis, then you have to use this. And for me, this is one that I use more than any other tool. And it's absolutely a, a necessary tool. And it's one that over the years that I actually really have gone to appreciate how powerful and versatile this is. So I'm so happy that the LibreOffice Foundation has actually made this tool available so that if you don't want to use Microsoft Excel, you could use this open source version, which the compatibility is getting better and better. And so for me, I really do not use Microsoft Office anymore and I haven't used it for years. And so I got to give a big thanks to the people at LibreOffice for creating this entire suite and especially for creating LibreOffice Cal. And before I go, I definitely want to thank every one of these people who actually created all these programs because all of these are free. Every single one of these were developed by people uh, and they are providing this to all of us for free. And so if you actually wanted to contribute and help any of these companies, then please donate to them and help them out because they've helped out so many of us by providing us these must have awesome tools that we can use for work or whatever every single day. And so those are my top five Linux tools that I use for work. If you had any of your own, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. Or if you had any thoughts on any of the programs that I talked about today, put that down there as well. And so as always, if you did enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, 
And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you actually wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you would get access to 30 free videos and more continuing content for all their creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. All you have to do is simply go to the link below, head over to our page, and join my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks a lot, and I will see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.